much for joining us. Let me go back to the guests and take a quick question with uh, Professor Sanjay Kumar. Professor Sanjay Kumar, uh, the point being made of independence struggle. This is no Dandi March of 1930 and the Congress today is not the one of 1930 and India today is also not the same as 1930 because India today has seen several memorable years and has catapulted many leaders from the sidelines into the mainstream and to the limelight and also to the high offices of the country. Do you think there is a visible disconnect in the larger objective that the Congress is talking about and the imagery that they are trying to, you know, think about? Uh, Maria, yes, to a great extent, there is a huge disconnect and the disconnect is visible from the electoral debacle Congress has been facing since 2014. Uh, they have won only few assembly elections since 2014. They got badly defeated in 2014, 2019 and remember since 2019 Lok Sabha election, Congress has not won any assembly elections and almost 17 and 18 states have been gone to polls. Uh, so this is a clear evidence that there is a disconnect of the Congress with the people and this disconnect is getting reflected in the electoral defeats of the Congress. Uh, the disconnect is about the ideas, the disconnect is, uh, disconnect is about the issues, the disconnect is about, about the leadership. So there are various kinds of disconnect I think which Congress is facing with the masses and that is why they have not been able to uh, succeed the way they should have succeeded in the electoral battles which they have faced during last five years. All right, Professor Sanjay Kumar Mohan. Kumar Mangalam, Dr. Sunil Singh and Tom Vodakan, thank you so much for joining us, getting me, getting the viewers now, the next newsmaker. Earlier today, I spoke to Tamil Nadu BJP chief uh, K. Anna Milai, and I began by asking him, there are some uh, shut up reactions that have come in from your party. Himanta Biswa Sarma, Sam Chief Minister, has said that India is united under Prime Minister Narendra Modi and if anything, the Congress should have this yatra in Pakistan. The Congress says that these reactions show that you and your party are jittery, that why are you so anxious if they are doing a yatra? And we also mentioned yesterday uh, that uh, the, the name that Rahul Gandhiji has chosen for the yatra called Bharat Jodo, and we all know who divided the country uh, before 1947, right from 1947, August 15. And in fact, Rahul Gandhiji had three of his family members as the prime minister of this country at different points of time. And after Prime Minister Modiji has come to power in the last eight years, hmm. be it Article 370, the complete integration of the Northeastern states into India, uh, the, the artificial North-South divide that was created by some cunning politician, everything is a thing of the past now. I really don't understand in what context he calls this as Bharat Jodo. That is why we said that Rahul Gandhiji should call this Yatra as a Bharat Chodo Yatra because he often leaves Bharat and goes out. And I don't see people are buying into this argument. People are buying into this theory. India is a great country, unified country. Uh, no time uh, in our history we are more unified now. Unified than we are. What is happening under Honorable Prime leadership? Well, the Congress says that uh, the BJP has divided into India, and this rich India is flourishing under the BJP regime. And Mr. Gandhi is also highlighting the fact that the BJP as a party is dividing India on communal lines. This communal charge is coming back to you because something that Rahul Gandhi keeps talking about. Maybe I'll take some extra little time to answer this question, ma'am. Uh, if you look at the person who inaugurated this yatra, the Tamil Nadu Prime Minister through M.K. Stalin, Two days back, he has hosted Arvind Kejriwalji in uh, Chennai and we called him as a great uh, chief minister of Delhi and who did some wonders here and there. In, in fact, uh, in uh, Arvind Kejriwalji called the MK Stalinji as another great chief minister. So two days later, uh, Tamil Nadu chief minister MK Stalinji is in Kanyakumari today to inaugurate this yatra, calling Rahul Gandhi as a great guy. So you can simply understand the way the opposition politics of this country is headed. They are totally clueless are directionless. Each person mingles with the other person. They are arch enemies to each other in Indian politics because ideas don't match. And every two days once, they keep changing their friends. That is number one. Man. Second, in fact, uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi starts this yatra from Tamil Nadu. It happens for two days. To in one district, in one direction towards Kerala. The road that leads towards Kerala is going in that road. Mm -hmm. Then the yatra doesn't enter into Tamil Nadu. Such a great state. Till 1967, Congress was a ruling party here, but the Congress themselves practically admit that they are not in the race in Tamil Nadu politics anytime soon. 
Now coming to the data, data is irrefutable. Uh, look at the numbers that uh, India has uh, achieved in the last eight years after Modi ji has come to power. 16% of India had tap water connection. Now Modi ji has pushed to 10 crore connections in the last eight years. They are touching upwards of 50% now. And uh, 70 years, uh, the total toilets they have built is about 5.5 crore. Now in the last eight years alone, we have touched about 11 crore. People had people are living without basic electricity. Hmm. 18,000 villages when Modi ji was uh, as the PM never had a single electricity connection. Now, after 18 years, eight years, every single uh, village is electrified now. So if you look at any of the basic numbers, maybe the artificial divide that is there between, or the real, real divide that is there between the rich and the poor, Honorable Prime Minister has bridged every single divide. So what is the number is talking about? Again, commun coming to the communal character of this country. Communal character, I think we have to talk about n number of issues. One, the communal character is determined by the spirit of this country. One, one is the Tamil spirit of the southern part, the next is the Kashmir spirit or the northeastern spirit. India is nowhere, uh, no time more unified than what is there now. Article 370 abolition, it has made India a complete integrated, integrated country now. Northeast, we have seen in 10 years of UPA rule, the strikes, the blockades, how Northeast was. Now look at the last eight years, what is happening now. So nobody is going to buy into this theory. Maybe an economic divide or a communal divide or a political divide, whichever divide is talking about, nobody is going to buy. India is more unified with, with Prime Minister Modi ji at the end of the last eight years, madam. Okay. That's a spirited defense, certainly. Uh, Anamalai, in case of Tamil Nadu, it is DMK, was, uh, DMK Congress on one hand versus AIA DMK. There is no sign of the BJP. Uh, in that, why Rahul Gandhi is setting his foot there, making you so uncomfortable? I mean, Rahul Gandhi obviously realizes that the Congress made gains in Tamil Nadu because of DMK, because of their alliance in D with DMK. And without DMK, they are not really a force. We often call that uh, the, the Congress in Tamil Nadu is an ICU with the DMK supplying the oxygen. That is the common terminology in Tamil Nadu. And for him, maybe it's a symbolism that he wants to start from the southern tip of the country and go towards his tax. Maybe it is a symbolism that he wants to do it here. Yeah. Coming to the political narrative here, uh, uh, in fact, I don't think uh, uh, the DMK party also with a uh, lot of openness, they have Congress with them as an alliance because Two days back, as I said, they hosted Arvind Kejriwal, which Congress found very uncomfortable. Some uh, sharp exchange of words happened between some Congress leaders in the press conference when this was asked. And many a time, including Congress, some of the MPs here, Karthik Chidambaram, who is an MP from Shivagangai, the son of Mr. P. Chidambaram, just a week back, he said, uh, the, the Congress party in Tamil Nadu has uh, lost a bit of its respect, self-respect, because there are an alliance and many things they can't talk very openly. Uh, but there are a lot of rumblings within the Congress party also. Having said it, ma'am, uh, I don't think I don't think Rahul Gandhi has chosen this place very carefully because he wants to launch this yatra uh, because he thinks he can revive Congress in Tamil Nadu. It is mere symbolism. He start he wanted to start from the southern point of India. I'm not reading more into this yatra or into the specific route that Congress Party has chosen, madam. All right, K N Namal, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. On that note, we are slipping into a short break. After that, I'll be travelling to Bengaluru and continuing our focus on what is going wrong in IT city. Why does it continue to be waterlogged? Why are people so anxious there?